Hey everyone, it's Amador. Um, I'm trying to catch up on some videos today. I um, I also wanted to show some of the things that I got. I went back to Boulder City here in Nevada. They had a this whole thing in the park. They had a car show and antiques and crafts and all kinds of stuff. But anyhow, I got a few little things and I got one big thing. And then I splurged yet again. So, first I got this. Let me see if I could pan down a little bit. This is... It's this little metal matchstick uh, dis dispensing thing, Majiggy. It's it was originally green. I guess it was originally this color, and then like that avocado green, and someone repainted it. Um, I was gonna paint it, but I think this this little mint green is pretty neat. I might have to cover that up or something. And the um, they 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 wanted four bucks, and I tried to get them lower, and they and they wouldn't they wouldn't budge. And the guy's like, well, at least you get the box, uh, a box of uh, matches. I'm like, yeah, it's a box. But anyway, um, I'm definitely going to use it for something else. I'm not sure if I want to use it to to put in, like, a bunch of crystals or just various things. So, you know, as as you take them, you could, you know, they'll come out of here and everything. It'll look super neat. Um, but it's definitely going to find a place in my candy station. I also got this, this cute little, this, this mold tin, mold tin, um, it's a doll tin, um, but it was just too cute. I'm like, you know what? That'll look beautiful. I circled back to that uh, one booth to get this, to put this in my candy station. A lot of people use um, muffin tins and whatnot. I figured this would be really cute, too, just, just for kicks and giggles. I also got this bag of junk jewelry. Most of it just like earrings and whatnot. It was a couple of bucks, so it wasn't that bad. But I figured I can use some of them just as little dangly parts for... Um, configuration boxes. Some of them have these little neat charms. Of course, that'll probably be taken apart. These metal pieces, and these are kind of neat little earrings that are just dangling hearts. And like I said, there are quite a bit of little earrings and bits and pieces that I can use for various things, like these little gems and gem-looking things. So it's quite a bit of those. One of these big uh, vintage button also got this little two-tiered table. It has a little bit of a rib there, and it's kind of wavy. It goes around part of um, part of it on each tier. So it's two tiers. It's a little beat up, and the people that had actually just had it for displaying their antiques and whatnot, but I went ahead and asked for it. So I got that as well, and I'm probably going to paint that with the Annie Sloan paint. I'm just not sure what color yet. So here are the ones that I have, the any Sloan paint colors that I got um, this this week. And I say this week because I'm pretty sure I'll go back. I got duck egg blue. Now, at first, I didn't want it, but then they had a few pieces where um, they already had them painted, and they were amazing. So I'm like, you know what? I immediately, we want some duck egg blue. They didn't have it last time, but the, the lady was kind enough to call me, and ironically, I was already there um, shopping for antiques and stuff like that. So I went ahead and, and picked that up. I also got um, two other colors. Uh, I got some more colors. This one is Antoinette, and it's this soft, soft, beautiful pink. They also have another pink. It's I think it's called um, salmon. It's not salmon pink. It's um, I don't know. It's something else. It's Scandinavian pink. That's what it's called. I didn't, I didn't get that one. That one's a little orangish. But anyhow, I also got old white because I've learned that you can also mix all the paint colors with old white and get. The several variations of shades and colors and everything with that. And also, uh, my partner Nathan, he... I think I'm getting him addicted to Annie Sloan paint. Um, at first, he he wasn't too keen on the whole situation. I mean, he wanted to repaint just about everything. But once he saw these beautiful pieces and this French provincial kind of accents and, and beautiful ways that you can do and you can make with these um, Annie Sloan paints, uh, Nathan was sweet enough and he bought me a can also. And he bought me, we got olive. So now I have quite a bit of array of colors and the um, the old white and I can mix. And it's really neat when you mix them and the color. I also got this swatch. They have the little, um, the Annie Sloan paints. They have it on in this actual card. They What is this called? A hand-painted color card. So they actually take the paint so you can actually see the real colors and after they're done and dried and everything because sometimes some of their books the um, the colors aren't true to what the actual paint is and of course and if you see it in the little pods it's still not the right the the, the exact shade that you're going to get so you get to see these shades and everything so now I can take this around the entire house and see what else we're going to paint because 
I don't know if I mentioned it before, we're also going to be painting um, our, eventually, our kitchen cabinets and whatnot. So, we'll see how it happens with all that. So, just wanted to share that with you guys.